We're going to create an angler fish, and we want to think about our placement on our page. We want to make sure that there's plenty of room near the top. We want to make sure because it's our subject, it takes up the whole page. And we want to make sure there's extra room here on the back, because you can see here I almost ran out of room and had to go off the page for the tail. So you want to make sure you have plenty of room there, and then room on this side too. So if we start in the center of our page and go up diagonally, that's where we'll start. And we'll start with our eye. So that's what we're going to find right now. We're going to find the center of our page, and then we're going to go up diagonal from the center and starting with a small circle filling that in and around that small circle which is the pupil of the eye we're going to just go around again once and then real close again around twice so we add detail in the eye from there we're going to put a dot above which is about a fingers width above the eye and then we're going to go about three fingers below and put a little mark and these are just guidelines. From here we're going to draw cur curving down and curving down. And on this side we're going to curve down right past the eyeball. So if you imagine coming out in an imaginary line and then just bringing this down to where it would meet the end of the eyeball right here. And then from here what I'm going to do is I'm going to go diagonally toward the eyeball but down. And I'm going to stop, see where it goes to the eyeball, where it meets the eyeball. And then I'm going to form a horizontal line coming out. And I'm going to extend it beyond this. So if I imagine here, this imaginary line, I want this bottom chin to come out past this. And then the next step is easy because I'm just going to connect this. I'm going to go down and over to this line and go slow down then curve over to this line and you'll see it you'll see it matching how it matches together and from here let's put a tongue in here so I'm going to come out and down and then from where the tongue meets the edge I'm just going to go up real tall and then back real skinny these are those really sharp tall teeth and then he has a few shorter teeth in here, shorter and smaller. Adding long, real long here, long, and then it gets smaller here. And make, make sure they're real pointy when you end it. Above the eyeball is part of a dorsal fin, the starting of one. They have these little tiny, tight, tiny little spikes and then it's got a little bump here and then it comes out at a straight angle and this is the actual fishing pole here which is actually the first rod in the or the first ray in the dorsal fin and it comes out diagonally straight line, little line over and diagonally back and this forms that rod where the the actual um, tissue is here. It's kind of like a free-form blob, kind of like a pom-pom if you think of a pom-pom. And then it's got these little spikes coming out. And this is what attracts the fish. And from here, we're going to go to the other side. Now remember, we need to leave about three or four fingers for the tail. And then come across the page and this is where our body's going to end and then our tail will begin. So my th four fingers down here are going to be the tail. So I'm going to go ahead and put a number one and then I'm just going to simply connect. Now you don't necessarily have to do it in a straight line. Kind of in a slightly waved line. Right there. Then our next step is to put a straight line and then I'm going to go down, or out, and back. And this is forming a side fin. And off of the side fin, it's got these really long, narrow spikes. And then we can do a curve, curve, like the lip, backwards U, to connect it. You can even add some texture in here if you'd like, with some skinny lines. On some of the angler fishes, they have these kind of chin hairs here, or chin spikes. 
And this is also attracting the fish. And they light up too. So does some of the parts in this thing. This lights up too. When these are in the bottom, because they're bottom feeders, and it's real dark at the bottom of the ocean, this is what lights up here. And then on some angler fishes, they also have this chin stuff that lights up, and that attracts the fish so that they can go ahead and get it with their sharp, sharp teeth. So the light is what attracts. From the tail, diagonally out, and this is going toward the bottom corner, diagonally up, and I'm going toward the top corner at that angle. Then I go ahead and add some spikes. If I go like this with one spike, down, back to the body, these are spikes, down, back, body. If you turn it sideways, it almost looks like the letter M. So if I do letter M's, bring them to the body. That'll give you that spike. Letter M, bring it to the body. I could put a letter M on this one. Bring it to the body, bring it to the body. And then turn it back. And then I can put, to connect them all, just put curves. Curve in, up, like the sideways C's. Backward C's. And that's basically your body for your angler. And then you go ahead and put your, since they're bottom feeders, let's add the bottom of the ocean. You want to add rocks and whatnot and fill it with textures or coral. And go ahead and design your ocean picture. You can put little baby fish swimming in or little fish over in here to fill up your whole space.